Hello, welcome back to this Let's Play of Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney Trilogy. So, we got through chapter one at last. It took me so... It took me three attempts to just get past the tutorial. Not to get past, to record the tutorial level. So, I'm just very eager to get on. Anyway, episode two, Turnabout Sisters. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. I, I still don't have a voice for Mia. Uh, give me time. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming draw. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say, nine to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Was that bit about it could turn out that way supposed to be me? Is That didn't sound like something her sister would say. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting. Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27am. Why are we recording the conversation? September 5th, 8.57pm, for Enco Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? <laughs> you are not uh, cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Guess bloody statue, man. It's a curse, I'm telling you. Is is there a point in showing me who the killer is every time? I feel like I'd enjoy working it out for myself. Red, white, blue. Okay. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Vango Law Officers. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh. That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She says her sister is coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Um, I'm examining. Uh, I've never, I haven't done this yet. All I've done is a trial. Uh... Maybe I'm not supposed to examine yet. Move. Office. There we go. That smell. Blood! Yeah, you've already said that. Sis. Someone's there? Oh. Well, I guess I don't have to think of a voice for her now. <laughs> um, a little bit insensitive. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you? Does she faint? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. 
then all too quickly it began to fade, until finally she was called. Generally call for please then? Chief. Um, examine. Yes, I imagine we're examining the corpse. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blonde object. She probably died instantly. I'm telling you, this clock, man. The think lying lie next to her must have been the murder weapon. Uh, the murder weapon looks like a statue. It was actually a clock made by Larry Butts. The think added to the core record. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. There must be pieces of a glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Okay. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hat. What could it be? Uh, you mean this? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? Well, that's her sister. This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Okay. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing there. Okay, how do I do it? You have not explained this investigation section to me at all yet. Yes, shards of glass. Um, the finger. Is there a phone somewhere I'm supposed to go to? Back. Oh, move. Uh. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Mm -mm. Excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought it'd be used for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Oh, you mean you want me to let you present the receipt to her? Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of his receipt. Th that's my name! W why Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. W wh why would Sis write my name? Oh, now I've done it. I'd better hurry up and call the police. Okay, how? Uh, what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, sis, so she was already dead. Uh, you and the chief, so you're the chief's sister, and her younger sister, and you're here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it was that clock. It was the finger. Okay. Um... Right, how do I call the police? Uh, oh, there's a phone there, can I... Ah, there we go. Right, I better call the police. That's funny, a few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was like, halfway through taking it apart. Please? Please, come quick. What, what was that? Someone's screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. Can she see me from there? She's holding a phone in her hands. Um, okay. Oh, okay, so I can slide from two different sides of this room, okay. There's a large building right across from the office, the Gateway Hotel, a nice, luxurious place. Okay, uh, there's an upstairs chair. Uh, anything else I can do here? Books lying around? No clues there, okay. Uh... The Fay Co. Ledger Book. Everything is written in the Chief's alternate handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Here's a... Surprisingly, Chief was never good with machines. About all she used his PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model with some garbage sale for practically nothing. I'm kind of in the same way, to be honest. Uh... All for Chief's important documents are packed in here. This where she followed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. I, I think I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> Can the game make your mind up what you want me to do? Okay, police are here. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Oh, yep, you look like a... Are you okay? You seem excited. <laughs> Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe. What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? 
Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eat? This word, Maya, mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this her note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. D killer? I'm not... Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct now. Okay, great. Sh should have known we're gonna have bumbling detectives if I have to keep proving people are innocent. W what? Maya's younger sister, uh, Mia's younger sister, Maya, oh god, that's got a very complicated family name, uh, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Okay, detention room. Wow, they have poor Maya looked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Why are you so chipper about it, Phoenix? <laughs> she looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? W well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. R really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did we? Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It, it's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fears as the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. <laughs> Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Hey! Wow, thanks. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Okay, uh, let's talk about you. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies strange. Uh, tell me more about the spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Maya was into this stuff too? Of course. I said Mia instead of Maya. God damn it, these names are going to get so confusing. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, what? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium? Hi, Bobs. With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact my spirit then? We could just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. <laughs> okay, I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Okay, tell me about the day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Come on, pop up. Evidence. Yes, that clock shaped like the finger. The one Larry made. 
How could that have been evidence in the case? Um, right. She said something about that... I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Uh, her own voice? Yes, I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Uh, no, not the spirit medium stuff. I'm already familiar with this. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Uh, Maya's memo. A conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um... I was wondering, could I ask you for a favour? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Do you think you can go ask him to represent me? Well, obviously I'd like to represent her, but this is her wishes, so sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Oh, Poppy. <laughs> I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow, at 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? They tell me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They give me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay, so... I guess we gotta go just... Oh, this person to represent her instead. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. Corner receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Is, is that legit what I'm supposed to be doing right now, or...? Uh, what's giving me the option to examine him as well. Table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that's the light is made of solid gold. Even I could tell someone here has got money to burn. Uh huh. Solid mahogany desk. It would have been polished with deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelf filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> yeah, as is often a way, it's more for showing off. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for the matter. Okay, anything else? Am I even supposed to be doing this? Am I just supposed to be going somewhere else first? Okay. Looks like, uh, unless it's a shrub. An expensive pot of plants. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Yep. Is that it? Okay, that's everything. Right. Uh, where am I supposed to be going then? Back to my offices? The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Hmm? Sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butt guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Rides. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butt guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. <laughs> um, Rise, and you, uh... I mean, I can get his name wrong for the hell of it, but no, Gumshoe. Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. But be right there. Um, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Uh, I guess that means I can get him to talk, tell me about things. About Miss Faye, did you do, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You wanna know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. But you think I'm her lawyer? Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. I'm a deaf, uh, 5th of 9th at 9pm, okay. Cool, single blunt force trauma, death was instantaneous, okay. 
So pretty much the same thing as what happened in the last case. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is a one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You're being a lawyer and all. Uh, nope. Can you get to clarify? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, uh, Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Um. Um. No. Well, I don't. Never heard of him. Whoa! And you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know about him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cool, heartless machine who'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Okay, uh, I have that note or something, don't I, to try and get the phone off him? Uh, yeah. I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Uh... I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I still feel like we should be honest in this circumstances. I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something to matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has little numbers on it, like her boyfriends. A cell phone holds all little girls' sweetest and spiciest secrets. <laughs> You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite a detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems like he didn't notice a recorded conversation. My cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Yep, check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, check. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What was it this time? Uh, yeah, this is all the stuff we heard at the beginning of the chapter. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Oh yeah, her. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness. Yeah, Miss April May. Oh, for God's sake, these names. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then? <laughs> You're trying to get your loyally tricks on me now. She's not going to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. This guy seems like a very shouty person. I don't... I don't really have a proper voice from yet, but that's as good as I'm going to get. Anyway, uh... Do I... I guess I just gather more information for now. December 6th, gateway room, hotel room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee-hee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Do you have to put your hands in the nyan pose? I pit it all, that's a quick exam in this one. Uh, I guess I'm just supposed to sneak around. Late summer sunlight streams through the window. It's the Fay and Cole office building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize the face from this distance, so... I was actually trying to talk about the bottles game. <laughs> a bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Interesting. Is this a single bed? Single bed. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing like catching here. Okay. I take it I'm supposed to... Look at the screwdriver, not so subtly placed here. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching. Ugh, bad boy. Y you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. 
Um, okay, let's just talk to her then. Uh, this room, I guess. Let's start with some small talk. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, uh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, uh, tell me about yourself. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no, hey, I'm just doing my job here. See, <laughs> you know you're key when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed as much. Um, mm-hmm. Right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. Tee hee, and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. Okay, we're getting nothing from this. <laughs> what did you witness? Did you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe, incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man of a big vocabulary. Um, I don't encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur, uh, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please. Let me see, um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Right, I'm getting nothing from this. I don't think I can even present anything that will care to talk either. Let's just go back to the law offices. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! That wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. <laughs> so, you're the one that they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please pres- You're not busy, I thought you were a famous lawyer. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out of it. Um, well, well sir, actually it's about Maya. Maya Faye? Uh, yes, my Maya Faye, go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Uh, cha cha I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. Nope, it's quite impossible. How did you know it was a day's notice? Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, um, uh, anyway, are, are you going to be the prosecutor? No, Edgeworth is the prosecutor. Do you know Edgeworth? I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Uh, let's ask about Mia. How did you know Mia, Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Okay, uh, how about that painting? That's, uh, quite a painting. <laughs> you noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. Why would you sell it to me? I've only just met you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale! I'm not buying! Jeez. Tell me about your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me, why wouldn't you take the case? Hmm? Um, well, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see. You told us you're not doing much. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. <laughs> um, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Are you threatening me? What, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth a sort will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Wh why? I, I, I cannot say. I, I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I've, I've nothing more to discuss with you. 
going on here? Okay. Um. I guess we go to lots of bad news. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happens? See, here's why I don't lie. I'm terrible at it. You don't mean he refused to help. Uh, I see. You've been, ab I've been abandoned then. Okay, that's... Now we're talking about the family again. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know, so she could still be alive. Uh, the women of my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spir spiritual powers ones in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in a... incident. There was a man, and he... He... Ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I've had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happens? The case was solved. We fought. You fought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name, my sister told me. White? Wait, wait, which, which person's name? The The... the the man who ruined you? The leaker? The one you convicted? Which one? Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No, we gotta help her. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. No, oh, tragic backstory. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Phew, she's hard at last. Just like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It's when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Okay. Well, guess I'm back on investigating. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Don't bother asking for a name, alright? I have just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! What is he? Ah, what, what, what did they say? I, is there, there's no chat log, red log. God damn it. Wait, now's my chance to sneak around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform us, May, that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. 
Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? It was literally five seconds ago, Phoenix. Come on. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and my mother. Could it be a coincidence? Probably not. Anyway, let's have a look in here, shall we? There's a screwdriver sticking out the half open drawer. Now it's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap. How do you just know what that is straight away? <laughs> what would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Found in Miss May's hotel. There is definitely something suspicious about this, Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, y you know what I mean. God damn it, Phoenix. Oh, bellboy! Still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In course. Not in the bedroom, which is clearly where my mind is. Oh, is that it? Okay. That was not a lot of investigating. Right, well, well, the trial was probably going to be fairly long, so I think I'll have to end this one here. Interesting case to start with, killing off uh, Mia this early. I didn't expect that. Um, I I've literally don't think we know anywhere near enough information to really... S I mean, the part about White being the same person that ruined their mother's career and whether that has anything to do with this. I think in the opening dialogue, Mia did seem to know the person that attacked us, so yeah, obviously it looks like that's the real culprit in all this, but uh, don't know how this is going to play out, so I'll enjoy getting there. Anyway, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time guys, bye bye.